We always fold our arms, don't we? What shall we do? You know what? We're just gonna go back to what feels comfortable, which brings us on to today's video. What's that? How do I feel? Um, I feel like I've forgotten the name of my fourth child, to be honest. I don't have four children. No, nope, I don't think I do. Why do I feel like this? Well, I feel like I've forgotten my favourite golf club of the year. Here it is. UDI! UDI! Oi! 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 <laughs> 64,000 subscribers. <sighs> well, the TaylorMade P790 UDI, the 2021 edition. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, I honestly thought I'd already done this. It was one of those where, of course I've done it, it's the P790 UDI. I'm not going to forget that, am I? And I kept telling myself that, and I hadn't done it when I checked, so Tom's fault. I'll be completely honest with you, okay, this hole is not a UDI hole by any stretch of the imagination. The fairway is tighter than the exit behind the poster of Shawshank Redemption, so you probably just need a 7-iron here. We run out of the fairway at 240 yards, that's 260 to reach, so we're going to give ourselves a big challenge here. Five shots, can we get on this bit of uh, short stuff on that side? That was a bit healy. Oh dear, hit the path, come on, cheat, cheat. Hey, contact with the face, hit it. Yeah, so that shot right there goes to show exactly what this club and who this club is targeting. If you get it wrong, all you know about it, it's definitely got that long iron feedback performance, but when you get it right, it's mind-blowingly long. See, that's still not 100%, quite slappy. Is that long enough? Definitely got the height. Get up. <sighs> but why if I was to give it more? <laughs> yeah, this is, um, as we'll see on, on Flatland, um, this is a 280 club, at least. So if you were to purchase a 2021 UDI, what do you get in your little speed foam gift pack? As we know, this is a golf club about precision and control. If you lack confidence with the long irons, I would say you're probably gonna struggle with this one, usually associated to the better player, but that doesn't mean a high handicapper wouldn't get on with this if, if this is what suits the eye to dress. But again, it's one of those heads that just blows your mind when you realise how much stuff's been packed in this, yet how compact the head actually sits at a dress. But when you hit it like that... One sixty ball speed. Just love the shaping behind the ball. To me, it just screams out. The avocado. Yeah, well, that wasn't the one. Sorry, we got the new sound effects guy off of Wish. You good? Right. Just love the shaping behind the ball. It's screaming out to me. Oh, you like oh, Yeah, I do. Like the beacons. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we can get there. <laughs> we can definitely get there. A bit left of that. And there we have it. It's actually quite close. Not when you slap it into the tree. Uh, nope. I fit that so unbelievably well, but just pulled it. That's 270 on this fly. Yeah, with that shape, 275 carry, easy. So in my time of reviewing P790 golf clubs spans all the way back to, I think, four or five years ago now, I know, wild. One thing that all those irons have included and in what was really groundbreaking was speed foam, of course. But with the 2021 UDI, this has been promoted with speed foam air. This new engineering material happens to be 69% lighter than the predecessor. 69 is a lot of percentages. 69% equates to about 3.5 grams saved with speed foam air, which as we know doesn't go to waste, it is redistributed within the head to further enhance launch conditions. But with speed foam being the multi-purpose material that it is, it also enhances feel, makes you feel softer at impact, and it makes it sound better too. Mm. God, I love slapping it. Also improving the feel is the 8620 carbon steel construction. This has allowed TaylorMade to thin out specific sections within the head to really nail that CG placement, which as we know with this iron, it's all about launch, so expect that CG to be uh, Low. Oh, that is, oh, please. One, six, three. That's numbers wise, look at that. I did a video on this. The older model saying 290 challenge i can't remember what i hit in total but i'm pretty sure it wasn't 303 yards that's me though not the club all right so on average we had a few different shapes in there this is obviously not what you want to be doing if you're getting fitted you want to be hitting everything stock your stock shot i mean gives us a pretty hefty average 159 ball speed that's not something to uh, shake a stick at Launch 14 degrees, spin 3043, average carry 267 yards, total 290. <laughs> it's one of those clubs where if someone said to me, pick three products at the beginning of the year that you don't think you need to review and you know it's going to be good, this would feature in the top three. Now don't ask me what the other two would be because I'd have to think about that, but this would be in it. Nothing more really needs to be said. It walked the walk, it talks the talk, lots of tech, lots of exciting things happening in this golf club. Again, tailor-made love, twiddling, fiddling with golf clubs. <laughs> you know what I mean? This has really probably not been a review as such. It's been more of a, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I missed you in more ways than one. We haven't gone obviously too tech heavy really. This is like I say, pretty far down the line now. You guys have potentially tested it. You've probably even got it in your bag. Let me know in the comment section. I would love to know. TaylorMade fan, not a TaylorMade fan. You can't knock this. Thank you as always for watching. If you're not a part of Team Al, 
hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. And of course, if you want a bit more of Team Al, you can hop on over to our, I don't know, random vlog channel, Team Al, behind the scenes. We've got all sorts on there. Great fun. We're trying new things out on there as well. So it's become, I've really enjoyed it actually. Yeah.